okay, let's get physics all. There are seven types of motion that a lift can do. When a lift is dead still, or moving up and down at a constant speed, then all the forces are balanced with it, so the reading on the scales equals your weight. Your apparent weight equals your weight, and you feel alright. No heavier, no lighter. Third and fourth types of movement. When the lift is accelerating up or decelerating down. Today this the lift motor has to give the lift an unbalanced force up the way. This is actually how it slows down, gone down. It's a wee bit tricky, but try and keep up. These are in the lift, so you will also need to experience an unbalanced force up the way too. This means that your apparent weight will be bigger for the time the lift is accelerating. So the reading on the scales will show a bigger force than what it usually is. Your actual weight has to change, but since the apparent weight has had to get bigger, you will feel a wee bit heavier. Fifth and sixth type of movement. The lift accelerates gone down, or decelerates gone up. To do this, there must be an unbalanced force on the lift and everything in it down the way. Skip to the end. Your apparent weight will be less than your actual weight to achieve this unbalanced force, so you are going to feel a wee bit lighter. Here's a wee hint to remind you how to remember this, courtesy of wee doco, one of my pure mental students. You listening, here we go, a wee hint to help you. A-U-D-D plus, D-U-A-D minus. I know it's catchy, try and keep up. If you accelerate up or decelerate down, then the reading on the scales, which is your apparent weight, is your actual weight plus the unbalanced force. If you decelerate up or accelerate down, then the reading on the scales, which is your apparent weight, is your actual weight minus an unbalanced force. Alright, you got that? Okay, so me, I, Robert Hernick, soon as Valentine, Professor of Physics at Yoka Uni, have received a fan mail. I say fan mail, it's more of a email. But the guy said he wanted to send me a video. Ding ding alarm bells, but it turned out to be an actual video for me to use in my lectures. And it pure lakes to lifts and feeling heavier and lighter and all that stuff. This bottom's for Perthshire, which is somewhere in the wilds of Scotland. You know, one of the towns with a thousand people and two surnames or something like that. Right, Smudge, play the tape. Watch the video then, that's a, that's a metal lift, well done. Uh, we're on floor number two. Kind of posh looking lifts, you know. Oh, fancy, a wee, uh, wee four ping. Press the <laughs> wrong button, mate. Press the right one. There we go. Well done. You've passed. So Here's a set of scales and newtons. We're measuring force. What's that? It's not exactly that person, you can see, but it's not that. So, right, okay. So, we get scales, aye. What are you? Alright. Fair enough. So, we got uh, some kind of weight on there. What's that? Hunter. Oh, no. Focus, focus, 125 newtons. You might have picked a 10 kilogram weight, big chap. So it made up to 100 newtons. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Press the ground. What happens then? So we're going to. We go down the. We accelerate down the way so that the, your pan of weight went down there. See that? And now we get to the bottom and it goes up. Press to go back up to floor 2. Yeah, weight increases a wee bit. Yeah, pan weight, I should say, and then we we stop at the top, and yeah, pan weight goes down. How's about that? Okay, interesting video. You can certainly find some weird stuff on the internet. Right, remember I said it was pure seven types of motion. We've only done six, so here's number seven. Number seven is plummeting down the lift shaft. This is called free fall. So let's figure out what the reading would be on the scales. Cause the lift, the set of scales, and the unfortunate, soon to be very injured person inside are all accelerating down at the same rate cause of gravity, then your weight hasn't got anything to act on. So there's nothing to act back on your feet. The reading on the scales would be zero newtons. So your apparent weight will also be zero. This means you'll feel weightless. 
Motion number seven might be a wee bit fun for a time because you're all weightless and that. But when a lift gets to the bottom of the lift shaft, you're going to feel a massive deceleration. So you would feel a massive unbalanced force up the way. Your apparent weight will be heavy, huge, and you will feel a pure massive amount heavier. If you find yourself in a situation where told the best thing to do to increase your chances of surviving the crash is to lie on top of a fat person. Now that's a conversation that I'd be interested in listening to. Catch you, Versace. Right, this, this mic's turned off, isn't it, Smudge? Aye, where'd you get that guy fee? Who, who found him? Is that not Sue? Is it? I need to have a word to her, man. He was a pure bottom, wasn't he?